So one of the more exciting things I've done recently is uh, go to the city and print out the map of the, the drone made of the land, the big forest here. It's a very big forest, like way too big to think about. It's huge. And ideally, I would even like to buy land around it. Uh, these are the little maps of it. See how it's nice in color? This is a picture of it. And you can see all the buildings, and you can see the elevation number markers, and it has topographical stuff on it. This other one is just a picture of it. So it's just all the pictures that the drone took and then stitched them all together. Pretty dang cool. Fuck you, wind! See, that's who I become. I become an old man who yells at the wind. That's all right. We all get there someday. And I don't actually want to be a grumpy old man. Yeah, and here's north. North is not quite the direction I usually think of it as for reasons. It's gorgeous. It's really a gorgeous map. And I do know the land really, really well. So we'll put that there. We'll put this over here. But now I'm going to show you something even cooler. I'm not sure I should even do this. because I have to get it back in there too. But I'm so happy about it. And you know, why do I really need this map? I know the land. I've been here for a couple decades. But this is going to allow me to relate places from one place to another that are far apart, particularly a topographical map. And uh, Look at how big this map is right here. It's huge. That's my place and it's in it's detailed. Like I mean I can see each building. The fuck. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> where the hell is this at? I don't know where anything is. It's upside down. So on this one, I can see every building I have. I can even see my broken down van. That's pretty cool. And all the little shitty roads I have, which are all dirt roads, that most of which are grown over. And areas I'd like to develop and get access to. This really just gives me a different feeling than I can get by being on the ground. And I have made GPS maps before with just simple lines and not total accuracy, but this is really absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to get this framed. That's one of the reasons I hesitate to even take it out. But I just wanted to show it to you because it's so pretty and huge. And this was not that expensive to get printed. I was very happy. I was in the city. I got a ride to the city because uh, a friend was going there. And uh, let's see if I can roll this up without damaging it. Um, this was like, uh, you know, 20 something dollars for, for having a greater godlike understanding of, of this property that I'm going to be making decisions about. that change everything. And so I have to be really careful. Let's see, let's try and do this. I used to, when I was in high school, I worked in an art and framing shop. So I'm not totally new to dealing with large artworky type things uh, and trying to protect them. Put this back in here. Uh, and I'm not gonna take that back out again until I'm ready to have it framed. And I, I, I know of a guy 
in a town nearby whose dad supposedly does framing. Although if I really want it framed well, maybe I should take it to another place. I actually had these ones printed out on thicker paper. And I probably should have gotten a couple more copies so I can draw on them or something. But maybe I can just put a piece of glass over it and then use a dry erase marker and, uh, and, and, and then, uh, you know, wipe it off and take a picture of it after I draw on it and then wipe it off again. But in any case, this is really beautiful. This is upside down again. It's so confusing. Yeah, this is very impressive detail. I'm just so happy right now. I'm going to keep these two out of it. And uh, maybe I'll uh, use my hair doingy to, to try and roll them up and make them protected. Um, and I've talked in other videos about wanting to buy more land around here because I still believe this is the best investment I know of anywhere in the world given all the factors that I care about. For example, you know, right now the breezes of evening are coming on and, and it, even in the summer will get a tiny bit chilly at night. Not very chilly. Hey! Fucking wind. Uh, do crack me up. All right, let's try and wrap this up again here. We'll wrap them together. That would be wise. Um, but like, I'm ready at this point to say I want to build more buildings. I want to have more people here, and those people are going to damage the land. They're going to have an impact upon it. And actually, I don't want to say that they're going to damage it because I actually want to do it in a way that enhances it. So I don't see myself as a land developer. I see myself as a forest developer who wants to have people within the forest and enhance it rather than damage it. I believe that's possible. It's exactly opposite of how a normal land developer would operate. Now oh, it's starting to rain. This is just beautiful. Ah, love it. So anyway, just trying to share a little of my excitement with you. Yay.